Hi Cancer, welcome to your general love reading for mid-March to the end of March 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. If you want, you can check out one of your other signs, or you can book a personal reading with me for more specific details for your situation. And you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Do keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed because it's general. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what is going on for you for the remainder of March. Okay, for the situation, we have the Hermit crossed by the Six of Cups. Okay, so Virgo is showing up already in your in your reading. So some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or you might have strong Virgo in your charts or maybe in the other person's chart. Um, okay, it feels like there's, there's a little bit of keeping to your own self or maybe the other person is keeping to their own self. Um, a lot of going within, um, some withdrawal from a very spiritual connection here um, from the past, right? Somebody that I feel like, you know, you've either had some past lives with this person or it's just a connection from the past, a very, very deep one. Let's see <clears throat> what is going on with you. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Five, sorry, the Seven of Swords and the Magician. I feel like you're holding back here as well. So it could be that the other person is holding back, but it's also coming in as you you holding back. Even though this is a connection that you would want to manifest. Um, and I do see you manifesting something here, but it feels like initially you're kind of unsure about this. We'll see. It, it's... It feels like some kind of an insecurity here. Let's see. We'll see when we clarify. So for them, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Fool. Okay, what I do love about this is that the last cards for both of you are pretty positive. Um, the first two, not so much. So it does look like there is a progression, all right? towards something more positive here. This person is feeling lost, lonely. So there's definitely some kind of a separation or just a withdrawal in energies from each other during this time. And they're definitely feeling the effects of this. Not only that, I mean, they're feeling it pretty hardcore here with the tower. Following the tower though, we do have the fool, okay? so. Um, some action here, a new beginning, taking a risk even. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Three of Swords. Okay, so there is some heartbreak on somebody's end. We'll see when we clarify, but I feel like this Three of Swords um, is actually, you know, because I see you manifesting, I see this person taking a risk and I feel like, you know, because you're feeling a little bit insecure about this whole situation, it might be something that you just don't really um, respond to this fool, to this risk that they might take, this action that they might take. So I do feel like that's them feeling that rejection, which, I mean, that's how they're starting off their energy here. They're feeling this rejection to begin with, with that five of pentacles. Let's clarify though and see what's going on here. So for the Hermit and the Six of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Lovers. Okay, so we also have Gemini. Here um, I'm also picking up on Aries energy. Definitely let me know in the comments which sign you're dealing with here. Um,
this is a very deep connection. Again, um, it's coming through with this lover's card. You're both feeling this. You both feel the depth of the connection together. But somebody is standing very, very firmly against having a reconciliation. I feel like it's there. Like you both, you both would want this at some level. But it's coming in as, and I feel like it's you, just really standing um, your ground, maybe even being a little bit um, harsh here in being like, you know, nope, I need some alone time. And, you know, I mean, that might be a good thing. That might be a good thing. I, because I do feel like there's a lot um, that can come out of spending some time alone or, or apart. Let's see the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Wands and the Three of Swords. Okay, so you've been hurt. Um, you've been hurt by, by this connection in some way. And because of that, it's like you're holding back so that you don't you don't feel that pain again because there's a lot of pain associated to this connection which again is showing up as being something very very strong so it does make a lot of sense that there's this that's the insecurity there's an insecurity um, in terms of feeling like okay well then what if I'm hurt again or what if um, I end up losing this connection like what if I do give it my all and then and then I end up being hurt. Let's see the Seven of Swords. The Moon, okay, so that's Pisces, and the Three of Wands. So it's still in the back of your mind. That's why the Seven of Swords is showing up here. It's like you're just trying to sneak away from um, how strongly you feel about the connection. And it's like, yeah, you know, you. I feel like you've made the decision to keep your distance right now. And that, like I said, you know, that could be a good thing. It could be serving you. Um, but this is something that's still in the back of your mind. You're just trying to kind of sneak away from the emotions and, you know, um, put them in a container or, you know, put them in a bottle, close the cap and just and ignore them. Which again, you know, um, I, I can't really say that that's a bad thing or a good thing because it really does depend. I feel like what's important here is to at least be aware of that so that you remember that at some point you do have to address those emotions, otherwise they're going to creep back up and you know kind of play out in ways where, where you might not expect or in ways that might not be um, very beneficial for you. So yeah, it can, it can serve a good purpose to keep something aside, um, something painful aside temporarily until you feel more grounded or more ready to actually deal with it, but bottling them up forever isn't, isn't really going to work. Um, that's what I'm getting here. But I do feel like you are making something happen here with that magician. So let me clarify the magician. Yeah, the king of wands and, okay, the two of swords. <laughs> All right, kind of, kind of. Because the message here, it's a little bit mixed. So the point is is that with this king of wands you do have what it takes that's what spirit is saying here you do have what it takes to fully find your own self to go deep and heal whatever it is that needs to be healed here and i see you being able to do that but i feel like at the end of the day though with this two of swords you're you're not going to be a hundred percent decided just yet in terms of where this connection is going to um, end up in the future and that's okay that's okay as long as you can 
you know, face your own challenges and deal with your challenging emotions. That's what's important here. You don't have to be decided. You don't have to force yourself to decide right now. What you can decide right now is that, okay, you know what? I'm going to deal with this in the best way that I can. And I'm not going to ignore my feelings or my emotions forever. I feel like that is enough for the time being. Let's see what's going on with the other person here. So for the Five of Pentacles, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Swords. Interesting that you're both getting <laughs> these swords, right? You, like the Queen of Swords and now the King of Swords. Because it feels like this person is also keeping their distance, right? It's like they're putting up this front of possibly being more hard than they actually are. Um, they're, they're feeling hurt right now. They're going through a lot. They're feeling the loneliness. They, they're feeling nostalgic. They're, they're missing you. They're feeling rejected. And, but they're f feeling like that can change or that something about this situation can change if they, if they stick to their ground too and if they keep their distance. Um, that's not really what's going to happen though. Um, I don't see it changing for them just yet. Like they're still going to feel this loneliness because then we have the tower right after. So thinking that by playing it hard that it's actually going to change something, it's not. It's actually, it looks like it's backfiring. So let's see the tower. The world and the Ten of Swords, wow. Yeah, an ending of a cycle here and a painful one. And I do feel like it has to do with something, something in the way that they have, um, in the way that they have been approaching this, in the way that they have been dealing with this, the method that they have been using, it's just not going to work. And so what's going to happen is, or what's happening here, is that they're, they're feeling the pain of the ending of this connection. Regardless of whether it really is an ending, you know, in the long term or not. At the moment, that's what they're feeling though. And because they're feeling like this is an ending, like a complete closing, they're having this tower. They're feeling like, I mean, it's just a really big crisis. feeling like their whole world is falling apart because of that. Because I feel like, you know, right before that, here with this Wheel of Fortune and the King of Swords, they're thinking like, no, you know, it's not really over. This is, this is going to change. Um, everything's going to be okay. And then it's like, yeah, well, no. And it feels like that's actually leading them to take some kind of a move here, like I said, with that fool. Um, let's see. What do we have for the Fool? The Knight of Cups, yeah, and the Hierophant. I can't make this up, I, and I know it sounds like, it almost sounds like I'm sugarcoating, but um, for those of you who would want this person to actually take action towards you, um, but I mean, it's the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant, okay? So first of all, this is also Taurus, okay? Um, this person is taking action towards you, offering something here towards you. It does look like it's commitment, wanting to come in, taking a leap of faith in a very um, serious way. So it's like this person, you know, is going to be triggered into taking action towards you and wanting wanting to have you back, basically. And not only that, but like, seriously. So let's see the Three of Swords. The 
Page of Cups, the Devil, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of disappointment here emotionally. Um, and again, I feel like it's because you're not decided. You're not, you're not decided. And like I said, you know, that's okay. But um, because of that, there's a lot of disappointment. This is also Capricorn showing up. Um, a lot of disappointment that this person at least is feeling. I feel like, you know, you still have emotions for this person. You're just not sure um, whether you can trust this or whether you can trust yourself in this connection in terms of how you feel about it because I feel like maybe the connection is just so strong that it creates this insecurity in you as to you know what if what if then it doesn't work out how much pain are you going to feel then or what if this person hurts you or you know what if you do something to mess it up or you know it could be anything it could be anything and it's going to be different for each of you and I feel like you know that's I feel like this devil it's also representing that that fear the fear of being disappointed and you know as a result at least temporarily for now this person is going to feel a lot of pain because of that but again you know i feel like there's there there are a lot of lessons in this for the both of you so you know just follow your own intuition basically follow your own intuition and allow yourself to experience the emotions that you feel for this and yeah I mean I wish I could do like a longer term future to see the outcome of this because I feel like it really is like a cliffhanger almost because um, I definitely don't feel like it is a hundred percent the end for a lot of you um, over here I feel like this is just you know the next the next step um, but of course you know if you want this to be completely done then that is that is your choice and you might have good reason for that as well. All right, Cancer, let's see. If this re resonated with you, final message, we have innocence. Take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with a childlike sense of wonder. Take that however it resonates for you. Um, I see it as, you know, just remembering throughout this process to also take time to relax and to do certain things, you know, that do give you, that do give you pleasure. All right, Cancer, those were your messages. I thank you all so much for watching and much love.